As the party travels, they find the river crossing is completely blocked by a fleet of wooden carts covered in scribbles of bears and unicorns. A line of muscular goblins circle the blockade, singing to the beat of a drum. The wagons bob to the beat as well, lifted by yet more goblins, all wearing robes with crudely drawn bears. In the center of it all is a mobile shack of sorts, four wagons nailed together to form a wooden brick on wheels. As the travelers draw near, the chanting switches to crude common. Graph the buff has house of tough. Step right up and prove your stuff. Pay in sweat or pay in gold. All who pass must pay a toll. As they finish chanting, a goblin built like a marathon runner dashes out to explain. All who pass must make a one gold donation to the Church of Good Health, but they can also take a timer challenge. Each rep done in three minutes counts as one copper. They also built a bridge half a mile downstream for free. The party can see it in the distance, with a few goblins building a small path to connect it to the main road. Here's where your players make their choice. If they question further, they find that the toll is to promote exercise. The other options are sneaky exercise, you walk half a mile to get around them, or you pay a gold that they'll have to work to recover. The goblins don't name her, but a religion check determined it to be Selune, chaotic good goddess of healing magic and moonlight. Their logic is that prevention is the better part of healing. If you're healthy, you don't need healing to begin with. If they try diplomacy, they'll find the goblins are well-meaning zealots. They might be persuaded to let the party pass if they're convinced they'll be walking the rest of the day, for example. A character who is injured or unable to reasonably exercise will be exempt. They're healing clerics, after all, and it's hard to heal if you're working while sick. If they do the exercises, the goblins will gather around and cheer them on. The most athletic member will be challenged to a friendly wrestling match for a one gold wager. It's a simple athletics contest with a plus three to the goblin's roll. I'd also give the player advantage if they have the grappler feet. If they win, they may be challenged by a lieutenant, athletics plus four, and a ten gold prize. Gruff the buff will step out of his cabin if they win, a broad goblin nearly four feet tall with a bearskin cape. He offers another wrestling match for a twenty gold wager or a non-lethal duel for a one hundred gold prize. Gruff wrestles with a plus six and we'll get to his stats in a moment. When the party convinces them to move, the goblins will lift the carts and drag them out of the way, putting them back down afterward. I'd consider that the good ending, but I think we all know that some parties will try to fight. If they do so, most of the goblins will actually take cover in the river of the carts. Treat them as standard goblins with double hit points. Only Gruff and his lieutenants will step forward to defend themselves. For their lieutenants, we'll just reskin the Hobgoblin Iron Shadow, make them small, remove their spell casting, and their shadow jaunt. Let's build Gruff, though. We'll make him tough, let's say 15 AC from unarmored defense and 51 HP. His real strength lies in his resistance to most weapons. He's technically a werebear, but he's been blessed to retain partial powers as long as he keeps his bow to never transform. We'll give him three unarmed strikes with a plus six to hit and a chance to knock prone on each. It's a classic goblin tactic, knock people down to our size. Gruff will try to be non-lethal, he intends to knock out the party and haul them to a church a few miles down the road. The church will understand why the party didn't trust the goblins, but they did just attack priests and will need to pay a fine or do a quest if they don't want jail time. If the party is close to killing someone, Gruff will offer to stop the fight and let them through, he doesn't want anyone to die. If half of his goblins fall, however, Gruff will go for blood. If the party beats Gruff, the remaining goblins scatter. The House of Tough is one of my favorite low to mid level encounters. It's fun, memorable, and a nice palate cleanser to break out when traveling. Even better, the blockade's on wheels. A party looking for revenge might find they immediately left. A party who loved them might see them again later, letting them pass with a friendly wave and practicing synchronized squats. Either way, give it a shot. I'm sure your players will find some fun in it. That's all for today's lesson. Let me know if you liked it and hit that button for more courses. Class dismissed.